You remember in the Corinthian church there were um, perhaps many people there who would come to worship on the Lord's Day and partake in the Lord's table, and then they would go another day in the week to an idol feast in one of their idol temples they formerly frequented. And in verse 19, Paul, speaking on this subject, says, what do I mean then, that a thing sacrificed to idols is anything, or that an idol is anything? No. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. This is a, this is a sweeping statement. If you don't make a true sacrifice to God, you have made a sacrifice to demons. If, if you worship any other than the true God and the true Christ, you are a demon worshiper. This is the very opposite of this natural theology, this wider mercy concept that somehow these Hindus and Buddhists and people in other places through their intuition and their understanding and their natural reason and their spiritual inclinations are, are finding their way to God. That is the opposite of the truth. They are demon worshipers. Well, they may not identify them as demons. I don't think, I don't think false religions, none of them identify themselves as worshiping demons. If you are a Muslim and you're worshiping Allah, you're worshiping demons. Demons. Demon deceivers and impersonators of the true God. Demons are behind all false religion, and they work in all false systems. Father of lies, Satan, and he's an angel of light, right? And his ministers are angels of light disguising themselves as bearers of the truth. 2 Corinthians 10, 3-5 says that these demons erect fortifications, false ideologies that become the prisons and the tombs of the people who believe them. And that our job, using not carnal weapons, but weapons that are mighty unto God, meaning divine truth, our job is to smash the fortresses down and rescue these people and lead every thought captive to whom? Christ. If you're caught in a fortress of Satan, it is a damning fortress. It, the same word for fortress is the word for prison. The same word for fortress and prison is the word for tomb. Your fortress, your ideological fortress becomes your prison and ends up as your tomb unless you are rescued and brought captive to Christ. All false religion is demonic. And people are not, through the means of false religion, ascending to God. They are descending to demons. The Old Testament speaks about this. Deuteronomy 32, 17, Moses wrote of those who sacrificed to demons who were not God. You can also see that in Psalm 106, verse 37. Deuteronomy 32, 21, God said, Israel made me jealous with what is not God. They provoked me to anger with their idols because they were worshiping Satan and the kingdom of Satan. So when you think of a Buddhist or a Muslim or a Mormon or a Hindu or Jews, don't think of them as making the best effort they can to worship the true God. They're demon worshipers. God is not in those idols. Satan is in those idols. And that's the perception we must have. 